Hello! I am knitting on one of the squares for my Colorwork sampler blanket and while I knit on it I thought I would record a video to tell you something about it because I'm not sure if I actually... No, I did mention it in my last podcast episode which was episode number 100. Um, I am working on the third and fourth video right now. So let's start at the beginning. The Colorwork Sampler Blanket Knit Along, the Colorwork Sampler Blanket pattern, um, is a pattern for a Colorwork blanket that you knit flat in, uh, in squares. So let me show you some of them. Uh, there are eight different designs. This is design number one and I've knit this a bunch of times. I want to knit each design 10 times, so 8 times 10 I will have 80 squares. I think that is all, no, I have, oh, I already have one joined here, so that's also design number one. So a really fun, um, yeah, a diamond, a diamond in a square, in a square, a diamond trellis. Yeah, it's it's just really really pretty. And so you knit two squares with the same colors. Um, and because I I'm using a Scapey's Metropolis color pack, I've I've uh, is that a verb? to stitch marker or something. I've stitch, stitch markered them together in pairs. Um, and each of these tiny balls are 10 grams. So with a set of 10 grams, so in total 20 grams, you can knit two squares. Uh, but you know, 10 grams, it's also just really handy if you, if you have a lot of 10 gram minis, for example, um, if, if, or lots of scraps. If you've knit socks before, probably, then you have a, not, a lot of scraps. Um, so it's great for those, and it's great for advent calendars, for example, uh, because you only need tiny bits of yarn, and because you knit the second square reversed, uh, you can use up the yarn very effectively. Uh, so that was design number one. I'm trying to locate ah, number two. This is not blocked yet. Can you see? <laughs> it's so ugly when it's not blocked. Um, this one is just steamed a little bit, but it's still rolling up and then this one I've properly steam blocked that. So this is design number two, which is dots and circles. Uh, one is already joined here. Oh, two are joined here. So that's design number two. And um, the PDF pattern for this is up uh, in my Ravelry shop. I will also be adding it in my New Leaf web shop, which is just on my website. It's very handy if you don't have PayPal because Ravelry only uses PayPal, uh, or if there's some other reason why you can't use uh, Ravelry, then my website is very handy. <clears throat> I do still need to upload it there because uh, just, you know, I like all of the designing and all of the knitting, but the app and stuff, like actually adding it to my website, that gets in the way. <laughs> uh, so I still need to do that. Uh, so you can get the PDF pattern there. Um, and then on my Patreon, I have videos for it. So I have step-by-step -step videos. The one for design number one is almost an hour long. And... You know, it's 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 the longest because it's the first one. I think the second one was a little over 30 minutes. Um, and now the third one is going to be even shorter. So because, um, yeah, I've designed this to be knit in order and also for the videos to be watched in order. So um, at the first one you will learn the most and I will have the most to tell you. Um, but also square number one is the easiest 
and then they get progressively more um, difficult. Square number three is here, and then number four, number five. I love this one. Look at it. It's so wow. Okay, uh, number six. I also love this one because I'm a sucker for gingham and tartan. Love, love, love this. And number seven. And then number eight. I still haven't uh, got a sample of that. So that will be a surprise for now. And I'm knitting up one of the color, uh, one of the triangle squares. You can barely see it right now. Um, yeah, so I am filming the third video and I am um, planning for two videos to go up each week. So this week, uh, because it is it's Thursday. It, this video might not go up on Thursday, but in this week, on Monday, I've posted design number one, and then on Wednesday, I've posted design number two, and I hope to keep those uploading days the same on my Patreon, so that next Monday, I will be posting design number three, and next Wednesday, I will be posting design number four. But in the in the pattern PDF, um, you get all eight patterns right from the get go. Um, so you can you can just get started, and you don't need to subscribe to my Patreon. Um, but it is very handy if you want to have the videos, and also because uh, when you subscribe, you know you only need to subscribe at the lowest tier. Uh, which is five euros a month and at that tier you also get access to the colorwork confidence masterclass and the knit and pearl colorwork masterclass so there is loads to to learn and you know this is just a small selection um, of of what you can unlock on the patreon page so there's also the sweater knitting masterclass um, yeah, lots of stuff. So go and check it out. And, um, uh, I won't tell you too much yet. I will be able to tell you more in December. But next year I will have a whole theme on my Patreon. And it's going to be lots of fun. And I'm very excited about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm very much looking forward to it, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, is there anything else? So yes, did I mention the yarn? So I am using the Scapius Metropolis color pack, which is 80 times 10 grams. So, so the Scapius Metropolis range comes in 80 colors, and then the color pack you get one of each color. So that it that is super fun. And I've knit my around the world sweater with that. So I've got a super colorful sweater that I love to wear. And um, yeah, so I will be able to knit 80 squares, which will give me a blanket of roughly 140 by 110 centimeters. Um, in inches, it was really easy to remember because it was 44 times 55 inches. Um, blanket wise, that's not very big, but you still have to add the border and, and you can, you can add more squares if you have more yarn. So, um, because in, in the color pack, it's just, just. Uh, 800 grams um, yeah but but you can add loads more and especially you know if you have uh, ordered an advent calendar for example and you know you might have ordered one for this year and the one you have from last year is still laying around <laughs> 
Um, I'm guilty of that one. I mean, I haven't ordered one this year, but um, last year I did a really fun advent swap where I swapped yarn minis with others and I haven't used most of them, so yet. Um, yeah, I have a whole box of minis that, and that's just perfect for this. Or, of course, you can just use um, full-sized skeins uh, and then you, you're free to, you know, um, to knit more squares of those colors. So yeah, I'm just really excited about this project and oh, let me actually show you, wait, a couple more stitches and then I'll show you how I'm sewing them together. And there are several ways in which you can attach this blanket. So I am knitting the squares all by themselves and then I am seaming them up with horizontal and vertical mattress stitch and it's quite simple. I will have videos on both of those methods. Uh, it provides a very sturdy seam and you know I, I like my knits to have a bit of structure so having a seam like that is really um, yeah it's gonna be really nice uh, but you can also just knit vertical strips so for example, this is design number one, and then at the end I would not cast off, but I would um, start um, design number two on top of that. You don't have to seam then, but you also, you know, you don't need to, to seam it. You only need to seam the vertical bit. Um, so yeah, if you really dislike assembling stuff, then that's a great option. Uh, you could also, you know, if if you just knit singular squares uh, for your next square, you could also just, you know, pick up stitches from an existing square and then it's already attached as well. So there are so many options and um, yeah, I'm just I'm just having the best time because I love color work and you know flat color work. Oh yeah, I I think you you might want to show um, you might want to see the back. I get lots of questions about well how does it look from the back? Um, yeah, I just I just love color work and I don't mind curling color work. Um, I think it's lots of fun. I am leaving quite long floats here because I'm planning to sew a backing to the fabric, uh, to the blanket. In the videos I am showing you how to wrap all of those floats um, and wrapping floats on the back is different than wrapping floats on the front uh, because you're purling instead of knitting. So. Um, yeah. Anything else? No, I'm just really enjoying this. Um, and, you know, you might be a little bit hesitant because purling color work seems daunting. But, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, you can totally do it. And if you want to have a bit of practice beforehand, then as I said, you also have access to the Knit and Pearl Color Work Masterclass uh, if you subscribe at the five euro um, tier. So, and we are just knitting teeny tiny squares in that one, uh, which are also very cute. Um, and, but yeah, so it's a very, um, very easy uh, start and you don't have to learn to pearl continental style, but I do also have um, tutorial videos on that. So, um, so yeah, if you've already uh, always wanted to learn how to pearl continental style, then that might be um, a fun new skill to learn as well. And you know, being able to 
knit and purl color work might be a great uh, motivator for that. So yeah, I think I have said everything that I wanted to say on this blanket. So I will drop the links down below to my Ravelry shop and also to my Patreon where you can find the videos. Um, I, do, I don't want to pressure you to become a patron. I mean, um, if, if you want to, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, you, can, you can even just subscribe for one month. No hard feelings when you unsubscribe. Um, you know. Yeah, just, just have a look. Uh, if you have any questions, post them down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.